Good evening, I'm Valencia Lorodi with your news updates. Lisufi Beck as Education MEC. Dilil says serving in an ANC-led government won't compromise my anti-corruption stance. Health department probing alleged abuse of an elderly patient at Mamilodi Hospital. Houghton Premier David Makura has changed his mind on the appointment of Banyaza Lisufi as the province finance MEC. Deciding to send him back to the education portfolio, Makura confirmed the move in a statement today. Premier unveiled his new provincial cabinet on Wednesday, announces that Nomantunko Morale Huko would succeed Lisufi. New Public Works and Infrastructure Minister Patricia Delil said, appointed to an African National Congress led government won't compromise her anti corruption stance. The Good Party leader was appointed in a surprise move by President Sarah Ramaphosa and sworn in on Thursday. She said that she was ready to serve and encourage more whistleblowers in government. The fate of hospital staff implicated in the alleged abuse of a 76-year-old woman who was tied to a steel bench at Mamilodi Hospital will be decided today. The health department lodged an investigation after a video went viral which showed the pensioner lying on the hospital ties tied with a cloth to the steel pipes of a bench. Now to your traffic and weather updates. Here's your traffic and weather updates this evening. Campton Park on the R23 highway, congestion causing delays at the Pretoria Road. Santon at Melboro Drive, congestion causing delays at the M1 interchange. Edenville on the N3, obstruction causing delays towards the Morris Fontaine Road. And now with your weather, Johannesburg is at 11 degrees Celsius. Soweto is at 12 degrees Celsius. And Mitrand is at 13 degrees Celsius. And that is all with your traffic and weather updates this evening. That is it from me and the rest of the Jobek TV news team. Goodbye.